What's up everyone? I'm Timothy Online Jr. You're watching Milam Asylum. Thanks for tuning in, checking out this review. Hopefully it serves you well. Um You Die. It's It's got some elements from other films, um, such as it follows uh, Truth or Dare, um, the phone app phone. Now the thing about uh, this type of horror story is it's not necessarily original, and I think that deters people from uh, watching it, but you gotta think that why can't we uh, reuse these concepts over and over again? Um, look at all the slasher films. Same stories. Just a different killer. You know what I mean? Uh, fantasy films, fantasy books, same stories. Well, same kind of stories, just slightly different adventure. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, action, etc., etc., etc. So, uh, You Die is a phone app. And what I loved about the film was. They actually captured what they were going for. Scaring the shit out of you. Um, not really like a bunch of jump scares, but just the idea of, um, you know, just the idea of. <laughs> it's just uh, how they deliver their scares. Um, my friend gave it a 9.5. And the score was only at 9.5 and bumped down because it's been done before. But as I just stated, uh, why not use the same structure but try to make it better? You know what I mean? I can watch a million uh, phone horror death app type movies over and over again as long as you like can do them uh, justice and, and right. Now, however, this film is um, in a different language and you have to read it. Um, so you have to read it. And it doesn't take away from any of the film. It's just, if you got to pay attention. you got to watch it. Um, so don't just, you know, so be prepared for that. And I know... Um, the 2018 horror film, but the the funny thing is, it's it's got a some type of writing up there as far as uh, you die goes, and to me that looks I don't know, it looks like there's some like type of Asian, like some kind of Chinese or Japanese or something, but I don't know anything about. Um, thing, but let's see here. It's, it's Italian, is the the language they're speaking. But I'm not sure. It doesn't really look Italian, does it? I mean, I'm not Italian, so I don't know. The first part looks more like Greek-ish. I mean, if I had to guess. Anyways, um, so it's an Italian horror film, and like I said, you have to read. The, you have to read the film. But it doesn't take away from any of the visual stuff at all. And they did that extremely well. Um, there is another horror and reading do not mix. And there is one other example of this. Um, and I can't remember what the name of the movie was. But there was so much dialogue going on during all the scare parts. That I was just like... I couldn't really keep up with both, so I had to watch the movie twice, um, just so I can fully get uh, all the dialogue and all the visual effects. Um, but, anyways, this film, I do highly recommend that you guys go out and watch it. It is actually super good, super scary. Um, the idea and the concept alone are really great. Um... I, I'm not necessarily a fan of the way that they chose to end it, but I also do understand why they chose to um, end it that way. But, 
Uh, having said that, this film is a 9.7 out of 10. That's your review. I'm Timothy Alman Jr. Until next time.